Good morning, friends. It's Tracy from Nova Scotia Living, and I'm going to can up some pizza sauce I got marked down. I bought these big old cans, 50% off. They're not expired. Not that that really bothers me anyways when things are a little over. But they had these marked down because the cans got dented. They're perfectly fine. But I don't want to leave them in these big old 2.84 liter um cans so what i'm going to do i'm going to open them up and can them in my own jars and it just eliminates the chance of it tasting tinny or anything from uh, a tin can i also wanted to say i generally make my own pizza sauce with homemade tomatoes and you know season it up but when i seen this uh i got each big can for about four dollars each to buy an individual sauce pizza sauce can here in nova scotia in my little neck of the woods it's about half half the size of like a regular soup can, Campbell soup can, and it's about two or a dollar fifty for a little teeny tiny half soup can of pizza sauce. So what I spent on these is such a money saver, um, and I plan on canning these up. I think I'll do them in pint jars. I have a few half pint jars up here, but I'm gonna get set up for that. And yeah, we're gonna can up some pizza sauce. All right, while I'm washing my jars, I'm just emptying these cans into Harriet. Sometimes when I do sauce and things, I do it from cold, but since my jars are going to be hot, I want to heat up the sauce because I wouldn't want to put cold sauce in a hot jar and vice versa, so I'm going to heat up the sauce. But I was just tearing off this little 50% off sticker just to show you. Um, it's best before May of 2022. Uh, or, yeah, no, it's best before September um 2022 so september 8th yeah these are still really good but doing this will make them last even longer and in any case of the dented cans none of the tin taste will go into the sauce or anything and yeah we'll be good for pizza sauce for a while popsicle. yes misha's keeping me company All right, friends, it took me a minute to get all set up, or a little while. I've been busy with the kids and stuff, but I'm all set up. I just washed my jars in the dishwasher. We're pressure canning um, this pizza sauce today. Um, you can water bath can, but I pressure can. It takes a lot less time, and, uh, yeah, I want to get it done and over with kind of thing. But I always check my jars before you even wash them. Check to make sure that there's no scratches or nicks around the edges of your jars, Check really good because it's not going to seal properly if uh, it's not a smooth surface. I have my lids here soaking in warm water. Apparently you don't have to do that anymore, but I did it because my jars are warm, the sauce is warm, um, and I want to make sure that everything is warm. Along with the rings. I used these rings yesterday or the day before. I canned up a bunch of potatoes. I just put them in this pan, stuck them in the oven for a little bit just to warm up. Um, I have a funnel, a ladle, and a little uh, bowl of white vinegar because I wipe my rims of my jars with vinegar. You can use hot water, but I'm using vinegar because that's what I've always done. That's what my mom did. That's what I'm doing. And here's a little magnetic stick if you're new to canning just to pick those out of the thing. So um, I'm going to start ladling the sauce into here. Hopefully I have enough jars. I have a ton of jars down in the basement, but this is all I have washed. I had these two little half pint jars. They'll go at the same time um, as the pint jars. But yeah, I'm going to set you guys up. And this sauce, I warmed it up. I didn't get it boiling, but it's warmed up. Um, I'm going to start putting it in the bottles. All right, friends, I have myself cut off just so you can get a close look um, what I'm doing. So I need to scooch this pod a little closer. I have a towel on the table because you don't want to put warm jars on a cold table. I do have a wood fire going here in the kitchen, but um, again, just to try to keep everything equal. Yeah, I'm not sure if I'm going to have enough jars. You might hear kids playing in the back, but that's life in a big family. So I'm just filling these up right to the bottom of the lip of the jar. Right there, I'm gonna put this on, it's gonna drip. 
and we've got right to the bottom of that little jar. I should have got some out here too. Yeah. I'm gonna do one and then I'm gonna kind of fast pace it. But what we do, um, you don't ever use anything metal or glass or anything that can scratch your jars. I'm using the bottom of a wooden spoon. Um, oftentimes things come with, like canning kits come with a little debubbler. But you gotta always, always, always try to debubble so there's no little air bubbles in there. Try your darndest. So, there we go. So, now what we're gonna do, I'm gonna need my paper towel, not that one. Now, since we're pressure canning, we don't have to add any lemon juice. Like, I often make my own tomato sauce. I haven't made some in a couple of years because last time I did it, I canned over 300 pounds of tomatoes and I had enough. But um, I'll try to remember to put a link of that down below. So after we do that, we wipe the rims to make sure there's no sauce or anything on there. Get one of these lids. sticker on there, get a ring, and what we're going to do is fingertip tight. Just tight enough with your fingertips. You don't need to use all your strength, just like that. Now this is cool enough. I mean, it's, it's warm, but it's not hot. I can lift it up with my hands, but if these were scorching hot jars and, or brine or anything like that, you got these fancy dancy little lifters that you can use. So. That's, that's all we do when we put it in the canner, and Bob's your uncle. So let me finish uh, loading up all of these jars, and I'll meet you over at the canner. I have my canner totally loaded. There's 20 jars in here. Uh, there's uh, let's see, five, six, 14 pint jars and six half pint jars. This is a nice big old canner. I had it warming up while I was loading those um, just because I have the amount of water I need for my canner. I have a Miro canner, M-I-R-R-O, and I put a little splash vinegar in the water just so the outside of my jars don't get filmy. If you forget that, it's not a big deal. You just wash it off the next day. It'll come off, but it just eliminates a step. So, I just turned it on high. I'm going to put my lid on. Where is it? Here it is. So, the top of it looks nasty. i got to wash it with a scouring pad. But this is the gasket that goes on mine. My pressure canner uses the weights. It doesn't have one of those little gauges on it. So I use a 10 pound weight. I'm gonna rinse this again because it's been sitting overnight. I washed it yesterday. But uh, you should always make sure everything is clean before you use it. Uh, the gasket you gotta wash in between sessions, I find, or film or just little debris could be under the lip. And if that's happening, the gasket's not gonna seal properly. 
and your pressure canner isn't going to seal. So it won't build up pressure, so you're sitting there. This has happened to me more than once. It has. Um, usually when I pressure can, I have two canners going, but I don't have enough sauce. There's a little bit left in that pan there, but I'm just going to put it in a jar and put it in my fridge, and I'll use it in the next few days. So it goes in under this little lip there, and you put the lid on. I know you experienced canners know all about this stuff, but for anybody that's new, and it just twists on so it locks there in place, here's where the steam will come out. There's a little red poker here, and it's down. As the pressure builds up in this canner and it heats up, eventually this little red poker will poke up so when that's poked up you know there's pressure in here you can't move it and try to take the lid off or anything like that but yeah i just turned this on high i'm going to wait till there's a steady stream of steam coming out of this poker here and not just a little whistle of steam you need it uh like it's charging charging kind of steam and then i'll bring you back and i'll show you what we do next all right friends i'm about to turn the uh, timer on for 10 minutes and let it vent like this the little red poker hasn't poked up yet it should be poked up by the time we're done if for some reason it's not i'm not going to put the weight on until there's pressure in here and i've had to do this before i've had to shut the canner off and let it cool down a bit and readjust the gasket this might be one of those times you never know but it looks like it's going to pop up here any second now but we'll see so i'll bring you back in 10 minutes when uh that timer gets up Oh, as soon as I shut you guys off, it popped up. So there it is. There's pressure in this canner. Perfect timing. Ten minutes, I'll be back. All right, friends, that ten minutes is up. The steam's coming out good and fast. My canner came with a five pound, a ten pound, and a fifteen pound weight, like that. I use ten pounds. You got to check your elevation to see which one you would use. And I always blow in the end of this just to make sure none of the little vent holes are blocked with anything. Oh, my grandson's over there at the table. All right, I'm using an oven mitt. I've been burned more than once. And just put it on because that steam will scorch you. It certainly will. So we're going to leave the heat on high for now until this starts dancing and heavy. Jiggling and wiggling and making an awful racket. And then I'll bring you back. All right, it's just starting to make those noises. So you see doing the hula dance and the chubby checker and dancing around and wiggling and jiggling now we do what we do is I turn my heat down to like a medium between low and medium I about a seven is what I do and it's like a gentle jiggle like this the whole time or it might have a few outbursts uh, twice a minute or so but now we're gonna set the timer for 20 minutes and we got to leave this pot doing it its thing for 20 minutes Oop. there and that's all we do so I'll be back all right friends the timer just ended so all we do now is just shut the burner off you don't try to take the weight off or cool it down or move it or anything like that you just leave it until that little red poker is down then you know it's safe to open it's still gonna be really hot but there won't be pressure in it so I'll bring you back when that poker goes down and uh, we'll open it up. I think that red thing's going to poke down any second now. I can hear it whistling a little bit, or not whistling, but hissing, gurgling, and then we'll be able to take it off. I can smell the smell of pizza sauce. It smells good. It smells good. I ended up getting um, a pint and a half a pint. Of extra sauce I just wasn't gonna fire up the canner again for those two little jars I just put them in the fridge but yeah this is almost done it takes there just went down so perfect now we can take this off you can leave it sitting in here all night long if you want to it's fine but I'm too excited I gotta see how this turned out so this canner is still very hot I just turn it and when I lift it, I lift it away from me so I don't get a steam bath in the face. It's still very hot, if you can see that. Ooh, they're starting to pop. You hear that? Oh, it's music to my ears. 
Let me get you a little closer so you can hear it maybe. My dishwasher's going. Ooh. Lovely. Lovely, lovely. So, oh, I should say in my canner, look at that. Beautiful. In my canner, I forget if I told you already, I filled up the bottom and then I have another like tray that you can lay on top of the jar so I can double deck my canner. So I can get more pressure canned at a time. When they're pints and half pints now, quart jars, I can only do one level because the jars are so tall. Oh, it's glorious. Yeah, and this saved me money. This saved me a lot of money. I mean, I often didn't bother buying those little cans of pizza sauce, and I just used tomato sauce or whatever and spice it up. That's fine. And uh, that works good. But the pizza sauce was good, too just I wasn't willing to pay that but I'll pay 50% off on a great big jar or a can put those little half pints there so oh yes I'm pleased now the test will be when I take this layer off I just want to make sure None of my jars busted because on occasion, doesn't happen a lot, but on occasion you'll have a jar bust in your canner, which is an awful mess. But it happens. middle finger off. See? And they look wonderful. So I'll unload all of these and I'll meet you over at the table. We'll take a good gander at it. Oh, they're still singing and dancing. But the, these jars are super hot. You can still see them bubbling a little bit. But yeah, I leave my jars on the table at least overnight. And then what I do, I take the bands off, rinse my jars, label them, and stick them down in my basement. And they'll be good. They'll be good for quite a long time. A couple of years, maybe longer. If, but I know this won't last that long. But beautiful, beautiful. Got the fire going. Now, if for some reason I was canning in a cold room, you wouldn't want to put a hot jar in the way of a cold draft. But you can see my wood fire going over there. It's warm in this kitchen. They're going to be fine here. But yeah, that's how I can up canned <laughs> pizza sauce. I just thought I'd record it and uh, get you guys hanging out with me while I do it. And we'll be good. All right, friends, it's the next day. I thought I'll wait till morning to... Um, bring you back to show you but all of my cans sealed exciting it's like quarter after six in the morning I'm about to have my coffee the kids are all sleeping it's a snow day school's canceled so hip hip hooray anyways what I do I'll just do it with this one because it's closest I just take the bands off I rinse my jars but there's a good vacuum in there I don't need to keep those rings on um, if for some reason some something went wrong in the can the gas would be able to pop the lid off and my jar wouldn't shatter down in the basement um, because this ring is off and it's not holding there in place but yeah everything's all hunky-dory <clears throat> so that's what I plan on doing today and I probably will can something else today but uh, yeah I wash the rims again just for the next use and I just rinse these off, wipe them off if they're, they're grubby, um, just because 
if there's stuff on the outside and you leave them for a long time, mold or whatever could develop on there. So, anyways, that's uh, how I recan tomato pizza sauce. Ooh, this is my morning face. <laughs> so, I want to say peace, love, and happiness today and every single day. Please like, share, and subscribe if you so choose. But if not, that's okay too. I still love you. I still want all the happiness in the world for each and every one of you out there. I certainly do. I really, really honest and truly do. Yes, I do. So, all right, guys. Well, till the next time I can something, have a good night or have a good morning. And I will see you tomorrow. Bye. Boink.